has a really big wiener. <laughs> and like that's really cute. Duncan, you did me good today. <laughs> I can't feel my body, cold against the concrete, but I can't seem to get enough. My mind is fixed on what it wants. I just let you beat me, looks can be deceiving. Let you get the best of me, in bed with my worst enemy. This is a no go, I just can't take cold. This is a danger zone, back up and get me home. This is a no go, I just can't take cold. This is a danger zone, back up and get me home. That's a better pose. Nice. Yeah, that's beautiful. Hi, baby. Hi, people. So good. What'd you eat? I they saw what I ate. I had eggies and strawberries and I had a breakfast sandwich. Yeah, breakfast sandwiches are so, so good. good. But guys, we are out for a couple essentials we couldn't find yesterday when we were grocery shopping for our next week and a half worth of groceries. I think we are headed to Walmart. We're gonna pick up some foodie items and while we're there, we're gonna see if they have some like twine because we can't hang anything directly into the wall in the front half of the apartment. So I found some things on Pinterest about like how you can hang stuff with S hooks or hang stuff from like the molding basically instead. You'll see what we mean, but I'm really pumped about it because the only two boxes, no, there's three things that we haven't unpacked from our move two huge suitcases that have all of our wall decor in them and wall decor is just a very stressful thing for me because I don't like hanging things. Hanging things makes me very stressed. I don't like measuring a ton and I don't know how to hang things straight without putting a shiz ton of effort in but I also hate when they're crooked so it's like a no, it's just not a win-win situation. She also doesn't like when you offer to help. Yeah I don't like but it's fine like it's it's good. So that is it? Is it? But we are going to be tackling some of those things today. Plan out where all of the stuff is going and then where we want to hang stuff to be like hanging in our front half of the apartment, if that makes sense. I'm excited about it. I think it makes sense. I'm pumped to be out of the house. We've got our masks. Do you have your mask? Mask? <laughs> you have it? Yeah, I have okay. It. Even if it's just for a drive? Wow. Did you hear that? He has a really big wiener. <laughs> I like getting out of the house even if it is for a drive because it reminds me that the world is not I'm ending. Like, so that's really great because if you're like stuck inside, except for when you're like grocery shopping, if that's the only thing that you do to get outside, I, at least for me, I'm convinced that the world is ending out there because I can't see it. <laughs> we'll see you in a sec. <laughs> we found some things so these are for sticking into like the back of picture frames if like they don't have anything to like tie string to you know and then we're gonna go with two different sized s hooks we're literally in the right aisle for all of this stuff look like really cute twine to like hang stuff we can get thicker if like the stuff that we're hanging is really thick I mean this is really nice looking I'm thinking of stuff that I wouldn't mind seeing in my living room and like that's really cute I'm struggling to hold all this in my hand but we could get something like this that's for like lighter pictures that are just like tiny little frames you know decisions decisions 
Success, my friends. We got hooks. We got hanging wirey things. You know, we, we were really, it was just a shot in the dark, quite honestly, on a couple things. We were like, let's get it. And if we need something different, we'll just like, we'll figure it out that way. But there's no way to figure out what exactly we need. It's our first time hanging stuff from like S hooks, so. Is that Walmart over there? That is Walmart over there. We're gonna go to Wally World. The line for Lowe's was not that bad. And then Walmart, I saw the line was <laughs> a little longer. I expected that though, it is Walmart. Everyone loves a good Wally World. New plan, that line was absolutely insane. And this Walmart is where like all these other shops are like Home Goods and PetSmart and then Lowe's is right there and like Bob's Furniture, like all of these things. And it's like the only Walmart in South Portland area. But we know of another Walmart that's in Falmouth. We went there once and it was just not crowded at all. So we're like willing to wait in lines, but that line looked so long. It was definitely moving, but it was the first line line that we have seen. It was a substantial line. A very substantial line. It was a hearty line. Yeah, it wrapped around the building. <laughs> yeah, it did. So let's get it this time. This line is much better. <laughs> Hope stay on the thing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing grace. The coffee. Oh my god. That saved a caffeine deprived. Mm. Sing it. Person like me. Yeah. Truman need mornings, mm. afternoons. My coffee. <laughs> so <laughs> red. I love you. I love you too. You're so handsome. Debatable. You have a girlfriend. I have a wife. Oh man. Hi there, can I get a small iced coffee with uh, two creams and one sugar? Hmm, Duncan, you did me good today. As we were just driving and look at this cute little neighborhood that we just found, there's like houses all back there. And then this is their view that like leads into like the open oceans over there yonder. And then it's just so cute. It's pretty spectacular. Like this house is like on the smaller side. But like how much do you think this house with this beautiful lawn and this view goes for? How much do you think, baby? I think. Uh, cool, 1.5 mil. Really, like a like really that much? Like easily. Look at everyone like walking their dog yos. So cute. Have you ever seen the water so blue? Have you ever seen the water so blue? <laughs> My grandmother used to say that every single time she saw water. And it got to be a lot when we moved to Maine and we literally lived near water every day. Carol Baskin. Killed her husband, whacked him. Do you guys think she did it or not? Comment down below. <laughs> Hello, it has been a minute. I never know how to like sit in this chair. I feel like every single angle is so... Hey! Hey! Be nice! Miss Allie just was a jerk to Hippo and Hippo just gave it right back to her. But anyway, maybe like this? I don't really know. Also, the battery is blinking. Hold on. That means that I have vlogged way too much today and I'm going to regret that when I'm editing. Okay, so the cats are like really hungry and they're at each other's throats and Miss Allie has been like on me and just looking at me and I thought that I would show you what happens when it's time for the meal that I have to say in order for them to react to. They know exactly what it means when I say it, so I can't say it. But we got home, I did a little at-home workout on that mat. I did a thigh and butt work out and then I did an arm workout so holding this vlog is actually really hard right now and then I just watched Rochelle and Justin's birth vlog if you haven't subscribed to them they are so good like I love their vlogs they are so wholesome they're such a great family channel and they had a surprise gender reveal twin birth vlog so much going on in that birth vlog and it's intense but i thought i would show you my cat's reaction going from babies to cats you know i thought i would show my cat's reaction to what happens when it's time for this meal miss Allie, is it supper time <gasps> is it supper time is it, yeah hippo is it supper time yeah is it <gasps> supper time yes baby oh my goodness oh my oh look at look at this supper oh my gosh oh my gosh and for you too we go 
go around the corner so that Miss Allie doesn't hiss at her or like try to steal her food too much. Anyway, I thought that I would show you guys at least the two suitcases that are full of wall decor at the moment. Let me grab them actually. Miss Allie, do you wanna see what's in the suitcases? Me too. Don't know if we will actually get to hanging anything today, but I thought we could at least just like inventory what is in here and then maybe see if like we can see it in a certain place of our apartment. My style hasn't like changed, I guess, but I've been a lot better at realizing what goes with the style that we want in the house versus just putting things places because just because we have them, you know? So I'm not afraid to be ruthless if we need to like give this stuff to Goodwill. We just don't have a use for it in this house. Oh my lanta. Look at this. Oh, it's this freaking home thing. I mean, it's cute, but like, it's kind of also not my style right now. I feel like this with the font is just going in the wrong direction. Jack gave this to me one Christmas that says, I don't talk to myself, I make vlogs. This can go in the office space because if you're new around here, hi. My husband Jack and I are redoing our office space to be a very separate space of the house, not physically, but design-wise. It's gonna be very gamer-centric, very nerd-focused. So we are both huge gaming nerds, and you can tell because look at like all of the physical Sims box sets that I have and things of that nature. I can't wait to put in the office. Maybe this suitcase can be the giveaway suitcase of things of like frames that we are not going to be keeping. So that's that. Oh God. Oh God. This, I just have to keep, quite honestly. This is called, it's all rubbed off. But when Jack and I first started living together, we made what's called a rich and famous list. It's totally meant as like a, oh, you know, when we're rich and famous, as a complete joke. Like for example, on here, it's like, when we're rich and famous, we'll get a PS4. So it's like, when we're rich, one day, we'll get a PS4. We had an iPad mini on here. We had a 50 inch Samsung TV. We had a Great Dane as like a dog. We had Rhino which is what we thought that we would call our second cat because we have hippo and then when we got miss Allie we thought she was gonna be named rhino but it just didn't fit but we got her the only things on this list that we haven't got are a BMW crossover but we have had a couple new cars or just one new car since then and we chose to just keep with mini coopers we just love those and then we haven't had a dog yet the only reason is because all of the apartments we've lived in are not dog friendly but we have to keep the rich and famous list you know that's just the things that we thought that we would be like saving up for when we were younger, you know? Oh, of course we're keeping this. This is our one of our banners that was at our wedding. These I'm thinking for our mantle. I'll replace the photos because those photos are outdated, but maybe like up there kind of leaning. I'm not really sure. Oh my gosh, our diplomas. We graduated college. This is also an office. Our friend Ilya got this for me for Christmas, I think. It's supposed to say ding. I put the J there and the M was already there. And even though like it kind of goes, I guess, I just hate it. It's not staying, we're giving those away. Quite frankly, everything that I am like retiring, we have had since our Connecticut apartment. And if you're new, that was over like five years ago. I wanna say it was like five to six years ago. The only things that we're keeping are those just because they look so nice and the black goes with a lot of things. We have a lot of like black accents. And then I'm also just not a person to display display our diplomas, but maybe we'll go in the office. It would be a vibe to go in the office. I mean, we did do a thing. We did go to school and we did graduate. Miss Allie, are you adding to the chaos or are you helping it? I have a pile going of potential office decor when we get like all the shelves and stuff in here and see like where everything goes. Okay, I wanna see what the two black frames these ones, we're gonna replace the pictures again because they're just outdated, but like what they look like leaning up against on like the mantle. And if not leaning up against the mantle, we got the S hooks today at Lowe's. What they might look like hanging from the S hooks. Let's take a look at that.
If she fits, she sits. She found the bag. I smell. Yeah, you smell really bad. Should I take a shower? Yes, 100%. All right, I'm gonna shower. Don't have too much fun without me. I won't. If anything happens. I'll let you know. So they are a little bit small. I don't think they are too small. Jack thinks they're too small. But small. I think that it's just because we are so used to this massive painting up there and it like literally takes over the whole space. I think those two hanging wouldn't be too small, but I think we like the bigger look. What I would love to do is get really giant prints off of Etsy and put them in really delicate looking frame and hang those maybe two or just two or three and like they would be taller than those ones. I think the height of those ones is what's getting us actually. But the hooks themselves are way too thick. Go into the molding of our like ceilings and stuff. So I think I know the exact S hooks that need to go in that molding in order to not drill into the wall. But it's unfortunate. So we'll just like return this stuff at Lowe's. We just ordered chilies off of DoorDash. We are so excited. I got like an appetizer trio and then I wanted the chocolate lava cake, but we agreed like it would be just not good once it came. And then once we like ate it for dessert, we could couldn't heat it up without it staying molten, you know? I got a cookie instead, and then Jack got ribs, and I'm just so excited. Sometimes you just need some Applebee's or chilies in your life, so I'm just so excited about this. And we got Blue Moon at Walmart, because you can't have chilies or Applebee's without Blue Moon. Like, whenever we go to one of those restaurants, like a restaurant like that, I just get the massivest of massive Blue Moons that I can, like the really tall one. It just goes so well with that meal, you know? So that is coming, and as we're eating it, we are going to be skyping. Vanessa and Trevor. Vanessa is my best friend. She was my maid of honor. You guys know her, but if you're new, that's who we'll be Skyping. While we play online games, enjoy some alcoholic beverages together, catch up, it's gonna be so fun. That's what the rest of the night looks like. But guys, if you are new and you've made it all the way to the end of this vlog, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. If you haven't already, we post every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Everybody do not forget to give the studio a big old thumbs up and we'll see you on Wednesday, my friends. We'll see you later, bye.